too bad. Access the uh, spot in the basement real easy. Okay, let me tell him to. He can back it in. Right. I want to come in and take a peek too, so you can back down into the driveway. Okay. And there's a spot down there. He said that we can access easy, so I don't know. All right. So can we check the kitchen too? Yeah. January. Oh, I know. It's so weird for up here. <laughs> I told my girls this morning, I'm like, you know, I don't even care if it doesn't snow at this point. Because I, I want snow for Christmas, but I don't even care if it doesn't yeah. snow now. I see all the Christmas stuff everywhere. Mine was down like the day after. <laughs> I was like, I need to get this out. All right, let's so, take. Um, so it drains slowly. It does. It, it goes all through here. This is fine. Okay. And I've got um, I've got the ceiling opened up downstairs. Oh, you got a full for the access. You got a full S trap there. So that that comes right down through the ceiling over here. Okay. Then, so what I've done in the past. Uh, is just undo this fern co coupling, pop that off. This dumps into that stack that's right there. Yep. And then it comes down and then under the floor. And I can get a snake in here probably to about the Where 90. Where it bends the, in the floor. Yeah. And I think it just, I think somebody put too much stuff down the The garbage disposal. disposal. And it just went plunk. Okay, and it, it goes into this bathroom over here? Uh, well, it, it goes Well, this is out, the main, so... It goes out under the floor, under, out the garage, and... Okay, the you're not having any issues with this? No, no, everything, the, the sink, the toilet, it all works oh. fine. Nothing's backing up over there. Okay, you do have water on your floor here. I don't know if it's from the yeah, tank or it. whatever, just so you know. Drip. All right. Uh, yeah, so nothing's nothing popping out over here. Okay. Yet it's backed up in the sink. If I run a lot of water okay. in the sink, it fully backs up and then just takes a while for it to get down. Okay. And it's not normal even with the full S trap. It's not normal that it takes as long as it's taking. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, all right. not at all. Uh, all right. And like I said, this happened. I got so much junk in here. Uh, it got clogged, you know, whatever, years ago when I had um, Jay from Pro Plumbing come over. Okay. And he's the one who actually put in that little piece of PVC with the couplings, because I think it was all okay. proper at the time. Okay. So he cut that out, got a snake in, cleaned it right out. I called him back at Christmas time. He came over, looked at it, and went, oh, yeah. That snake that just broke <laughs> you yeah, know, last he, week. He refers a lot of the, the jobs to us anyway. Yeah. So so that was so it's been done before, you know, from that access point. Okay. Uh, Do you wanna take a look? It's gonna um it's gonna be overhead the easier point. It is a full S upstairs, but he said it's draining slow uh for what's normal. He was just telling me that Jay from Pl Pro Plumbing came over and installed this little section of PVC right there. Yeah. But Jay and him have taken apart this fern coat and gone down, cause you got the, the vent pipe right there. Yeah. They go down right through here and then it goes down under the floor and then over to the bathroom that's over there. Wow, a long run. Right, that's why I figured from here is probably gonna be our best bet. Cause the sinks upstairs part are fine. He said he can yeah. get his snake in here and down to probably about floor level, and then there must be a 90 that he can't get past. Right, but we warranty the whole line. So if we snake from here and then upstairs it backs up, guess who's coming back for free? No, I know. Oh, I'm don't just... worry about upstairs. <laughs> I mean, that's... I'd rather do it from upstairs because then we could possibly run water at the same time. If we open this up, we could take the chances of spraying everything there's no just way take a quick look upstairs yeah okay. this is going to be the best bet from here okay
Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, don't worry as long as he doesn't trash your kitchen. That's the easiest point, but we can't check your whole drain. What if there's something in here we clean downstairs and then you run a bunch of water and it pushes it down, you know what I mean? Oh, that's fine. I mean, I opened that up too. That was the first thing I checked was up here. You want me to leave this small piece of PVC? No. no. Including the continuous waste? Huh? No, just that piece. Okay. <sighs> Holy macaroni. You up? Take off my uh, cold supply. Take off that cold supply. All right, we've got an inch and a half copper drain going through the floor, inch and a half slip connect, continuous waste, got a baffle in the sea, very important. If we use just regular schedule 40, when the garbage disposal comes on, it's gonna come up this drain and push up through the other sink. Got a supply so we can test the system. We're gonna try and fill it up first, check downstairs before we before we start sneaking, make sure there's no leaks. Chili's gonna take a walk downstairs. System nice and full, so we know when we clear the blockage and how far out it is. All right, right to the top. Probably gonna make a little bit of a mess because.
there's some paper towels or something in the bathroom down here. up and get the bucket. Behind you. I'm getting the bucket because the water came through and is dripping down there, so. I didn't mean to startle you. I was <laughs> listening for the cable on the floor. Oh. You're in the bathroom downstairs. Look, bug, dinosaurs. 
I know. I know you like dinosaurs. All right, Shelly said that you could hear me in the bathroom downstairs in the basement. Put in another 10 feet. Let's run some water. Ooh, sounds like it's still backed up. It's still backed up. Gotta go a little deeper. Yeah, it sounds like you go into the garage, but I don't know if you've made it to the main stack yet because I can see the stack coming down the wall in the garage, but I can't see exactly where it is. All right, grab the drill in case we have to do that. Yep. Yeah. You got a heavy grease line, you want to put a drill on the end of your cable. The way how your cable corkscrews, if you run it, if you run it all the way out and then run it in reverse, the coils in the cable are gonna push the grease forward rather than pull it back. Go slow. You wanna hold up here by the thing? No. I want you to pull it back and give me tension, put it on, on one on the top. All right, just go slow. Just pull back on the cable. Ready? Yep. Good. Pull back. Go ahead. So essentially right now we're cleaning the drain with a basically a 10 millimeter flex shaft, but you're getting the, the cleaning of the full cable. Once you're in a safe, safe spot, put it on reverse. way to clean the grease line. Voila. 
you're not backing up anymore. Pull your cable back enough, you can get it back on the machine. Just a little bit of water while you pull them back. Clean the cable off. together and just easy peasy lemon squeeze put the pipe together now. The boss of the Kazinga. I'm not the boss of the toilet.
All right. And stick her for under their cabinet. Right. There. Perfect. All right. 